Welcome to another tutorial video regarding hydrometeorology. This time, I will show you how to measure humidity. Humidity can be expressed to but not limited to the following. We have the relative humidity, the absolute humidity, the specific humidity, the humidity ratio and the vapor pressure deficit. We have different formulas to use for each of this. I will solve this problem to show you the application for each of these. Using the data, compute for the relative humidity, absolute humidity, specific humidity, humidity ratio, and the vapor pressure deficit. On the table, we can see the date to be the month of April from day 23 to day 28. We have the temperature on degree Celsius, we have the saturated pressure, with a symbol of ES, in the unit of M bar. We also have the actual vapor pressure, symbolized by EA, with a unit of M bar. Before we solve for each values, I would like to give a brief definition on each of the humidity measurements. We begin with the absolute humidity. Absolute humidity can be represented by AH, it is the ratio of the mass of water vapor actually in the air to a unit mass of air, including the water vapor. It is expressed in gram per cubic meter of air. The formula to be used in solving for the value of the absolute humidity is AH is equal to 217 times EA, all over T, where AH is the absolute humidity in the unit of grams per cubic meter. EA is the actual vapor pressure, and T is the absolute temperature in Kelvin. Next, what is specific humidity? Specific humidity can be represented by SH, it is much similar to the absolute method. The only difference is that instead of considering air volume, this calculation considers the total air mass. Thus the specific humidity unit is grams per kilograms. This means that such humidity is expressed as the amount of water vapor in grams present in each kilogram of air. The formula to solve for specific humidity is SH is equal to 0.622 times EA all over P, where SH is the specific humidity with a unit of measurement to be grams of water vapor all over grams of dry air. EA is the actual vapor pressure in M bar. P is the atmospheric pressure, which has a value of 843 millibars when computing for humidity. Next, the relative humidity. Relative humidity is the most important and reliable measure of atmospheric moisture. It is the ratio of the amount of water vapor actually in a volume occupied by air to the amount the space could contain at saturation. The formula to solve for relative humidity is RH is equal to EA all over ES, multiplied to 100. Where RH is the relative humidity expressed in percentage. The EA is the actual vapor pressure in M bar and ES is the saturated pressure in M bar. Next, we have the humidity ratio or the mixing ratio. The humidity ratio of moist air can be expressed with the mass of water vapor in the humid air, to the mass of dry air, or by, the partial pressure of vapor in the air, to the partial pressure of the dry air. The formula to solve for humidity ratio is W is equal to 0.622 times EA all over P minus EA. Where W is the humidity ratio or the mixing ratio expressed in grams of water vapor all over grams of dry air. EA is the actual vapor pressure in M bar and P is the atmospheric pressure, which has a value of 843 millibars when computing for humidity. Next, the vapor pressure deficit which can be represented by VPD, vapor pressure deficit is the difference or deficit, between the amount of moisture in the air and how much moisture the air can hold when it is saturated. Once air becomes saturated, water will condense out to form clouds, dew or films of water over leaves. The formula to solve for pressure deficit is VPD is equal to ES minus EA, where EA is the actual vapor pressure in M bar and ES is the saturated pressure in M bar. Now that we have defined each of these measurements used for humidity, we begin solving our problem. Again, the problem states, using the data, compute for the relative humidity, the absolute humidity, the specific humidity, the humidity ratio and the vapor pressure deficit. Since the problem has six days in the month of April, we will individually solve for their values. 
But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell. We begin from April 23rd. We first solve for the absolute humidity. Again, to solve for absolute humidity, we will use the formula, absolute humidity is equal to 217 times Ea or the actual vapor pressure all over the temperature in Kelvin. Substituting the values, we have AH, is equal to 217 times 27.62 millibars all over the temperature of 28 degrees Celsius, to be converted in Kelvin by simply adding 273. We simply solve and we have the final value for our absolute humidity of 19.88 grams per cubic meter. Next, we solve for the specific humidity. To solve for the value of the specific humidity, we always use the formula, specific humidity is equal to the actual vapor pressure all over the atmospheric pressure which has a value of 843 millibars. Substituting the values, we have, specific humidity is equal to the actual vapor pressure of 27.62 millibars, all over the atmospheric pressure of 843 millibars. We simply solve and we have a value for our specific humidity of 0.02 grams of water vapor per kilograms of dry air. Next, let us solve for the value of the relative humidity. To solve for its value, we will be using the formula, relative humidity is equal to the actual vapor pressure all over the saturated pressure, multiplied to 100. We substitute values, and we have, Relative humidity is equal to the actual vapor pressure of 27.62 millibars, all over the saturated pressure of 38.91 millibars, multiplied to 100. We simply solve and we have a final value for our relative humidity of 70.98%. Next, we solve for the value of the humidity ratio. To solve for humidity ratio, we always use the formula. Humidity ratio is equal to 0.622 times the actual vapor pressure all over the atmospheric pressure of 843 millibars, minus the actual vapor pressure. We substitute values, giving us, humidity ratio is equal to 0.622 times the actual vapor pressure of 27.62 millibars, all over the atmospheric pressure of 843 millibars, minus the actual vapor pressure of 27.62 millibars. We simply solve giving us a final value for our humidity ratio of 0.02 grams of water vapor per grams of dry air. Finally, we solve for the value of the vapor pressure deficit. To solve its value, we will be using the formula, vapor pressure deficit is equal to the difference of saturated pressure minus actual vapor pressure. We substitute values, giving us vapor pressure deficit is equal to the difference of saturated pressure of 38.91 millibars minus actual vapor pressure of 27.62 millibars. We simply subtract and we have a final value for our vapor pressure deficit of 11.29 millibars. To solve for the other dates, simply follow these steps. I will not discuss for each because the steps are all the same. I will simply flash it in your screen right now for you to see the solution to each of the preceding dates.
that is now the solution in solving for the value of relative humidity, absolute humidity, specific humidity, humidity ratio and the vapor pressure deficit. That is now the solution to our problem. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell before you exit.